Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Meraj Kamran in Explore Chemistry. Today in this video, I brought the quiz for you related to acid-base topic. If you have watched my previous videos, you can easily attempt this quiz. So take this quiz please to reveal your understanding for acid and base. And watch the video till end because at the end of the video, I'll show you your results and this will be very interesting part. I assure you that you will have fun. So watch till end. Let's start this quiz. The first question of the quiz is acidic foods can be identified by what taste? This is MCQ based quiz so you will get four options. Option number one is salty taste, B sour taste, C bitter taste and D sweet uh, taste. You will get five seconds to answer so your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is B, sour taste. If you have given the same answer, you got one point or one star. But if you have given wrong answer, so sorry, you did not get anything. Let's move toward next question. Question number two is, bases increase the concentration of what in water? Option A, hydrogen ion. Option B, hydronium ion. Option C, hydroxyl ion and option D, hydrate ion. You will get 5 seconds so your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is option C, hydroxyl ion. So you got 1 star if you have given the correct answer. Let's move toward next question. Question number 3 is a hydrogen ion H plus is the same as option A a neutron, option B an electron, option C a proton, option D a hydroxide ion and your time starts now. Okay time's up. The correct answer is option C proton. So if you have given this answer at one star in your score let's move toward next question question number four is which acid is present in vinegar option a citric acid option b ethanoic acid option c carbonic acid option d lactic acid and your time starts now Okay, time's up. The correct answer is option B, ethanoic acid, which is also known as acetic acid. So, if you have chosen this option, you gave the correct answer, add one star in your score. If you have not chosen this option, do not add any point or star in your score. Next question is, question number 5, which substance is present in kitchen cleaners? Option A, ammonia. Option B, sulfuric acid. Option C, hydrochloric acid. Option D, nitric acid. And your 5 second times starts now. Okay, time's up. Correct answer is option A, ammonia because it is a base. So if you have given this answer, you got one more point. Next question number 6 is what measurement of the pH scale is considered a neutral liquid? Option A 0, option B 1, option C 14 and option D 7. Your time starts now. Okay, correct answer for this question is option D 7. So you got one more star if you have given this answer. Next question is Question number 7. A liquid is considered an acid if it has a lot of dash. You have to fill in this blank. Option A is hydrogen ions. Option B is helium ions. Option C positive ions. Option D hydroxyl ions. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Correct answer is A, hydrogen ions. So you got one more star if you have chosen this option. 
Let's move towards question number 8. Question number 8 is bases are found on the pH scale between which numbers? Option A 0 to 7, Option B 4 to 10, Option C 7 to 14 and Option D 0 to 14. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Correct answer is number C, 7 till 14. So, you got one more star if you have given the correct answer. Next question is, question number 9. A chemical species having one ionizable hydrogen ion is, option A, monoprotic, option B, diprotic, option C, triprotic, option D, polyprotic. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is A, monoprotic. So, you got one more star in your score if you have given this answer. Next question number 10 is, Vinegar, fruit juice and cola are examples of option A, strong acid, option B, weak acids, option C, strong bases, option D, weak bases. And your time of 5 minutes starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is option B, B acid. You got one more star if you have given this answer. And if you have not given this answer, you got nothing. Okay, next question number 11 is. According to the definitions of acids devised by Lewis is A. Acids are proton donors. B. Acids are proton acceptors. C. Acids are electron pair donors. And D. Acids are electron pair acceptors. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Correct answer is B. Acids are electron pair acceptors. So you got one star if you have chosen this correct option. Next question is, question number 12, according to the definition of bases devised by Bronstein and Lawley is A, bases are proton donors, B, bases are proton acceptors, C, bases are electron pair donors, D, bases are electron pair acceptors and your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is B. Bases are proton acceptors. You got one more point if you have given the correct answer. Let's attempt the next question. Question number 13 is the pH of a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid is about option A 1 till 3, option B 4 till 6, option C 8 till 10, option D 11 till 14. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is option A, 1 till 3. You got one more point for this correct answer. For wrong answer, you got nothing. Let's do the next question. Question number 14 is examples of bases are option A, soaps and soft drink. Option B, caustic soda and lime water. Option C, urine and lemon juice. Option D, vinegar and ammonia. And your time of 5 seconds starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer was B, caustic soda and lime water because both are bases. So you got one more point in your score. Let's do the next question. Question number 15 is all acids can turn blue litmus paper. Option A, blue. Option B, red. Option C, pink. Option D, purple. Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. This one was very easy. Correct answer is option B, red. You got one point if you gave this answer. Next question is, 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस विल कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिकॉज दे ऑप्शन ए आर मॉलिक्यूलर कंपाउंड्स ऑप्शन बी आर सॉल्युबल इन मोस्ट सॉल्वेंट्स ऑप्शन सी फॉर्म आइंस इन वाटर एंड ऑप्शन डी आर इन सॉल्युबल इन मोस्ट सॉल्वेंट्स एंड योर टाइम ऑफ 5 सेकंड स्टार्ट्स नाउ ओके टाइम सब करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी फॉर्म आइंस इन वाटर यू गॉट वन मोर पॉइंट फॉर करेक्ट आंसर यू गॉट नथिंग फॉर रॉन्ग आंसर लेट्स डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 इज अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्मीनियस अ बेस विल ऑप्शन ए लोअर द ओ एच नेगेटिव आइन कंसेंट्रेशन बी मेंटेन द हाइड्रोक्सिल आइन कंसेंट्रेशन सी raise the oh negative or hydroxyl ion concentration or d keep the hydroxyl ion concentration the same your time starts now okay time sir correct answer is option c raise the hydroxyl ion concentration if you have given this answer you got one point let's do the next question question number 18 is complete ionization of a diprotic acid takes place in option a single step option b two steps option c three steps option d four steps and your time starts now okay time sir correct answer was option b two steps you got one more point for this correct answer let's do the next question question number 19 is a substance with higher ph value and low electrical conductivity is option a is strong acid option b weak acid option c is strong bases option d weak bases and your time starts now okay time's up correct answer is option d weak bases You got one point for this correct answer. Let's do the last question of this quiz. Question number twenty is a substance which can act as both acid and base is option A most acidic, option B most basic, option C neutral, option D amphoteric. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Correct answer is option D, amphoteric. You got one more point for this correct answer. Now the most interesting part of this quiz is the result part. For getting your result, you must have to count here all the stars or your scores or your points. After counting your points, I'll tell you how much grade you got. If your points or scores are from 16 to 20 you got a plus grade that's excellent congratulations you got wonderful result okay if your score is in between 14 or 15 you got a grade that's good not very bad you with a little hard work you can improve till a plus grade that's good If your score was in between 12 to 13 you got B grade this is average result with a little more hard work you can improve your result much better If your score was 10 or 11 you got C grade this is satisfactory result not very good you are you have to work hard otherwise you can be fail if your result is in between 8 to 9 you got d grade the here you need to do lot of hard work it shows you are not studying well or not doing hard work you must have to start studying now If your result is zero till seven, then you got F grade means you have failed. Your result is unsatisfactory. You must must have to work hard, work very hard to sustain your result to improve your result. 
but don't worry for improve your result you can watch my video related to these topics i hope you will improve your result i hope you like this video if you like and enjoyed this quiz please like and share with your friends and family and subscribe my channel for more interesting quizzes and videos thank you